welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here. I'm standing up which means one thing and one thing only, it is haul time and today as you can see from the title I'm bringing you a big new season autumn winter pretty little thing haul. I'm so freaking excited, you guys know pretty little thing is one of my favourite brands in the whole entire world. There's just so much newness and like so much trend there stuff which I just absolutely love. It's all quite affordable as well, I just can't get enough, I'm always on there. Um, so yeah without further ado let's crack on and get straight into this because there is a ton of stuff to get through and oh my god i look so bright in the viewfinder right now it's late at night so i've got the ring light on um to give us some sort of brightness everywhere i was supposed to film today but honestly i've just had like the biggest migraine i've had a lot of anxiety this week and yeah it's just been one of those weeks so that is why i'm filming late at night I just got that like late night fire inspo in me so yeah let's get on with the video okay so the first thing i picked up from pretty little thing was this geometric green two-piece now if you guys are a fan of pretty little thing i'm guessing that you will have already seen this float around i feel like it's one of those fashion blogger pieces like so many fashion bloggers have been wearing this it has been out of stock for the longest time ever it came in stock and it was straight in my basket um so yeah i'm gonna try it on and show you what it looks like okay so this is what the two-piece looks like on Honestly, this is just me in a two-piece completely. You guys know I'm obsessed with two-pieces anyway, but I just absolutely love like the shirt and sort of trouser ones. I just, I don't know, I feel just so comfy in them and I just feel like they look really smart, really classy. I just love the print of this. I love that it's green because it's something a little bit different for my wardrobe because I'm not normally a green person, but there's something about this that I really like. I feel like this like geometric print is everywhere as well at the moment, um, so that's a bonus trend-wise. Um, but yeah, I got it in size six. Honestly, the fit couldn't be any more perfect. It, it just fits me really, really well. And yeah, I love this. Just gonna do a little turn around as well. I've just teamed it with some Perspect heels. Same old bag, don't even have to tell you where that's from. Although this is a two-piece, you could definitely style each individual thing with something else as well. So that's always great, super versatile. So yeah, I love this one. Okay, so the next thing I picked up from Pretty Little Thing was a tracksuit. I really love loungewear and I love having things in my wardrobe for them more dressed down days. And if you didn't already know, graphic print is really in this season. Do you know like brand names printed across things? Really in. I think Balenciaga started it off because they've got like a jumper with Balenciaga all over it. Then Zara did you... And yeah, like I said, everywhere. I saw this tracksuit on the website and I just loved it. I love the fact that it's beige and brown, sort of like autumn winter vibe. I don't know, there was just something very fashionista about this tracksuit that I absolutely freaking loved. So I had to get my hands on it. I got the bottoms in a six and I got the hoodie in an eight. I think they were the only actual sizes available because this was running very, very low on stock. But I'm going to try it on and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the tracksuit looks like on. And yes, I know, I feel and look like a little bit of a chat right now i'm not gonna lie that's definitely how i'm feeling I'm gonna come in a little bit slow closer so you can see the print so this is what the print looks like print wise i absolutely love it and design wise i absolutely love it however fit wise that is where it falls apart for me personally so the top's in an eight i didn't expect it to be as oversized as it is for an eight like if i just put my hands in you can see it's really big like that's how big it is so it is a very oversized eight i would say personally and um, it also has this like tie up here top's not too bad i quite like the top i like the sort of funnel neck on it as well um i do like it but my issue and main issue is the trousers well the tracky is not trousers um so if i just come out i think you might be able to see the problem but these are a six guys and like for a six they just feel so big like I thought they'd be a little bit more fitted and shorter, but they're just so long. I don't think I'm that mad about how like baggy they are, because I do like my joggers to be a little bit like comfy. I don't like them to be skin tight. I mean, that's the whole name and aim of joggers, like to be comfy. Um, so yeah, like fit wise here, they're not too bad. Like I said, bit baggy, but nothing major. I think it's more the length. I'm five foot three, and these are just so long. So I feel like it just makes it look like it's a really weird fit. I don't know, you make your own opinions up and let me know what you think, but yeah, I don't know, I just feel like together it doesn't look quite right. Um, I saw it on a gal on Instagram and she looked amazing in it, so she might have been a bit taller than me, and that's why it might have worked, because I feel like if I pull it up and it was like more pulled up like that, it wouldn't look so bad, but I feel like because it's so down and like right down to my trainers, I don't know. But yeah, 
make your own thoughts let me know what you think all the same it is a super comfy tracksuit and i do love the whole design of it i'm just not too sure if it's something that i would wear out of the house okay so the next thing i picked up from pretty little thing is this geometric print jumpsuit as I just mentioned, Geometric is absolutely everywhere as a print at the moment, and I saw this jumpsuit, fell in love, and um, it's like a, it says rust on the website, it's got like orange, red, bit of brown, I just felt this was giving me real autumnal vibes, the only thing with jumpsuits is fit, so I'm going to try it on and show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the jumpsuit looks like on, and my gosh, I'm so impressed with the fit of this, it is honestly probably one of the nicer fitting jumpsuits that I have in my wardrobe. I always feel like jumpsuits, like I said, can just be a bit of an issue fit-wise because I love the website as well, do you like small to medium with jumpsuits? Does anyone else find that? So obviously a pretty little thing, they had actual sizes, so I got this in a size six. It fits beautifully on the sleeves, it's really nice and fitted there. It fits so nice on this department as well. There's no issue with like a long body, it just fits me beautifully there. Only little thing is it is quite long in length, but with my heels on it's not too bad it's just still sort of meeting to the floor but that's absolutely fine with me because it fits everywhere else so beautifully so i'm just going to come in a little bit closer so you can oh, nearly fell over <laughs> just going to come in a little bit closer so you can see the print up close but yeah this is such a nice fitting jumpsuit pretty little thing have done a really good job it's buttoned up and then it also has a zip here so you obviously you can get into it um and i feel like as they have designed it like that it's just made it a really nice snug fit with this jumpsuit um so yeah this is a massive thumbs up for me okay so next so we have another two piece and admittedly this is one of my more riskier pieces throughout this haul um so it is this satin rust two piece now i know what you're thinking like what is that like i said it is more of a riskier like out of my comfort zone thing but as i previously mentioned already satin silk fabric is very very much in this season and i wanted a new like going out evening outfit and i just thought i would try something a little bit different it's pinstripe so it's like rust but it has this sort of like green pinstripe through it so these are the bottoms, they're just a wide leg trouser, they've got them in a size 8 which probably should have got a 6 but I think the 6 were out of stock. Um, it's got like an elasticated waist so we shall see how we get on with those. And then the top is just this sort of plunge crop top with long sleeves and again like an elasticated waistband. It did look so stunning on the model but you know how it is guys, things can always look amazing on the model but on yourself. Just don't reflect that, but I'm going to try and show you. Okay, so apart from the trousers being a little long lengthwise, as you can, I'm sure, see, I am actually very pleasantly surprised with how I feel about this two-piece. The top, for one, fits just insane. Like, you couldn't get a better fit with the top. I absolutely love how it is so structured. As you can see, as I'm coming up close, it's really nice and structured here. I do actually have a bra on. I've got one of them V bras on from Primark. And, yeah, I just feel really comfy on this top half, which I don't always do if I'm wearing low-cut things. Um, but, yeah, because I can wear a bra, I feel really comfy here. I love the structuring of this bit here. Um, it's also got like elasticated sleeves which I really like and then we just move to the trousers so as I mentioned there was only a size 8 left in trousers so I took a risk because it was elasticated waist and thought you know what I'll try them they should still fit they do fit perfect on the elasticated waist but I feel like when you size up they do add like a centimetre or two onto the leg normally they do just come a little long on the leg I feel like I put probably bigger heels on they might take a little bit of that length off the floor other than the length of the trouser being slightly a little low i absolutely love this i am so pleasantly surprised something very different but i feel like i do really like it i know a lot of people will be like oh it looks like your pajamas because it's silk people always get that with this sort of fabric no i think it's very kim k what am i dragging with myself on the floor yeah i'm gonna say this is thumbs up i'm really happy with it okay next up we have another two-piece co-ward pretty little thing honestly they're really doing themselves proud with the co-ords lately so the next one i picked up was on the website described as a cream co-ward and i don't know if you're going to be able to see this much on camera probably not with this big light here can you it's got a very pink tinge to it so in my opinion not pink not pink what am i on about in my opinion it's not cream i feel like it's got a very light pink tinge to it so i was a little bit disappointed with that because on the website it did look more white slash cream doing sort of pink so yeah i did just want to let you guys know that just in case you are expecting cream um because in my opinion this is like not cream anyway it's a clot leg and it is a blazer top also has this sort of shell button detailing all over it i'm just going to try it on and show you what it looks like 
So aside from the fact that this is super crease and needs a good old iron, I do actually really, really like this. I'm pleasantly surprised. I wasn't too sure when I took the culottes out of the bag because my first opinion was like, oh my God, these are just not the best of qualities, a little bit see-through, but together with the blazer on, I really like it as a two-piece. So I'm going to come in and just show you a little bit closer. So this is the blazer jacket. As I said in stress, this to me is not cream. It has a very slight pink tinge. Um, but all the same, I do really like it. Like I love it on. It's not a massive issue. It's just I was expecting, like I said, a cream. It's not the thickest of fabrics. It is lined though. But yeah, it is just quite a thin fabric. It's not like a structural or heavy weight blazer. Just like a very thin, loose blazer. Um, so yeah, this is the blazer. And like I said, it's got these really gorgeous Toy Toys shell buttons on. And then if I move back, I will just show you slightly the trousers. So the trousers as you can see again have the toy to shell buttons on the trousers on their own would not work straight up like they wouldn't work on their own they're see-through as anything so yeah the only reason why this does work is because the blazer actually goes over the trousers so it's absolutely fine there's no issue again fit wise it fits really nice i think and yeah i feel like this would be a really nice going out piece to be honest with you so i love this Next thing I picked up from Pretty Little Thing was something for going out. Because I feel like I have no dresses or do you like dressy things for evening? I have two pieces, obviously, but I wanted a dress. I actually was following someone who wore this and I can't for the life of me think who it was. And I remember looking at it at the time thinking, oh, that's really nice. And again, it's in this silk satin fabric that's absolutely everywhere at the moment. And honestly, it looks absolutely nothing off the hanger. It's in a champagne colour. It's like a shirt dress, but it's like ruched. We're going to try this on and I'll show you better what it looks like there freaking in love with this dress i feel like it's one of the nicest dresses that i picked up in a long time you guys know i'm not always a massive dress person nowadays but this one i absolutely love i love everything about it i love the fit i love the color i love the fabric i just feel so comfortable in this you know when you try something on and you're like i love it that's how i feel i need a night out now so yeah i'm gonna come in closer again just show you so as i said it's in this gorgeous like champagne -y color it's like a shirt detail here so you can have it more conservative if you want or if you want to show a little bit of cleavage off you can by just undoing the buttons again it's got buttons on the sleeve and then as we come to the waist we have this sort of tie up detail i've just tied it up twice into a knot and then the bottom part of the dress just this like ruched dress so it's quite flattering shows off a lot of your figure i did just want to point out i got this in an eight not a six and that is simply because of this fabric there is no give to sort of silk satin fabric um so if you do ever buy anything in that sort of fabric always size up the model was wearing an eight so i thought i need to definitely get an eight if she's wearing an eight because she looked tiny i probably could have even got away with 10 actually because it's quite tight no it just fit me nice it, it just fits me nice but like i said you can feel that there isn't a lot of stretch for the fabric um so yeah definitely size up if you do decide to get this but i love it i feel like it's a really classy little number perfect for an evening out with the girls okay so the next thing i picked up from pretty little thing is what i am wearing so let me just come close with this top it is actually a sort of like slinky bodysuit i really want it just sort of like a scoop neck body but the fit of this for me is just completely wrong um i think even if i change the bra to like no i don't know i don't even know like what you would do obviously i don't really think you could wear a bra like i've sort of just pulled mine down so it's a little bit lower um but as you can see it really gapey here there's a lot of fabric um it's quite tight on the sleeves as well i feel like it's just a really weird fit i got it in a size six because i thought right i'll get a size six because i'm always sort of petite on the top um so it's super tight on the arms like borderline probably a size four on the arms really tight on the arms but then it's just so loose here like the scoop on it is just i don't know there's so much room here so it just doesn't fit nicely at all i think ideally i would have wanted it to fit a bit more like that and then it would have been perfect so i'm gonna have to say a no for the top and then i've just simply teamed it with i've just noticed i've not actually got any shoes on um, but i've teamed it with these sort of paper bag waist trousers now i opted to get these in a six because I think a couple of Primark hauls ago, I showed you some cargo pants that I got from Pretty Little Thing in this sort of same fabric, and I got them in an eight, and there's quite a lot of room, so I thought, do you know what, I want a bit more skinnier fit, but these are just completely different fit altogether. When I actually got these out of the packet, I was like, what is this? Like, the fabric feels so thin. It is a really thin quality fabric, which I'm not complaining about, because I feel like on, they actually look better. But yeah, they are definitely a completely different fit to the cargo pants, so I just wanted to 
let you know that just in case you thought they'd be similar because of the same fabric and sort of same style um so yeah they are a little bit tight like on the leg here but the only problem with sizing up is that the eights could just be, end up being massive and i don't want them to not Fit. like I want them quite a tight fit in um but yeah I do really like these I do think they're wearable they're still quite comfy um but obviously I'd have to probably team it with a different top because this top doesn't go next thing I picked up from Pretty Little Thing is something you might recognize as familiar because I actually had this a few Pretty Little Thing hauls ago in black and it is this white striped sheer shirt this is going to show you a little bit closer the fabric if that focuses so yeah it's just a completely sheer shirt just with these white stripes I really like this I think a white shirt is always an absolute staple in your wardrobe and this is just a nice variation on a simple white shirt so i'm going to show you how i would style it up okay so this is what the white shirt looks like styled up and on at the moment i only obviously have a bra on under these so i would probably put like a white um bra on and maybe like a white bandeau top underneath or whatever um completely up to you but yeah this is what the top looks like on um i absolutely love this white shirt like i said i just think it's something a little bit different as opposed to just a normal white shirt just teamed it with some black trousers from pretty little things these are still on the website i will link them Flower bag as always pair of heels and just some shades i feel like it's a really just nice put together look and there's so many options of how you could style this shirt so yeah i love this okay so next thing i picked up from pretty little thing was again something a little bit risky and different i wanted to try as many different things as possible because i always stick to my same sort of style so it's always good to try new things and i picked up these satin cargo pants and i really like the look of this silk version i thought we could really do something with them so yeah just a plain black pair of cargo pants um obviously they're elasticated at the bottom they've got some pockets on and they've also got like this tie waist I believe like a long tie waist thing um let's just style them up and see what they look like on okay so I actually really really like these styled up I've gone very simple with the styling because I don't know I did feel a little bit out of my comfort zone wearing a silk pair of cargo trousers so as you can see I've just simply teamed them with just a plain cami top I feel like a white cami top would look really nice with these also um but yeah I do really like them the fit is beautiful on them they fit absolutely perfect they're so freaking comfy as well like honestly I feel like I wear my pajamas but yeah I just think it's something a little bit different it's nice to play around with fabrics and you know try different things yeah I do think these work I think they would look really nice with like a coat over the top as well which i will show you next okay so i told you there was going to be a coat next and here it is so i picked up a new sort of like camel i think this is camel yeah camel long line double breasted coat so it is just that classic long line structured coat is in that sort of like faux suede fabric is it um but yeah i'm sure you know what i'm on about when i say the long line coats i'm gonna just try this on and show you what it looks like so i wear a lot of these sorts of coats just over the shoulders um i feel like they look really nice like this i feel like this goes so nice just with like a plain all black outfit this is one way i would style it like if i was going on a night out obviously i, I don't go out with that coat anymore because i'm old and um, i'd probably wear like this and um, but also it looks like this on i opted for a size six i believe in this let me just double check the tag in a minute this is what it looks like it does have buttons so you can do it across and wear it like that but i normally just opt to keep mine open I feel like this is such a nice coat for the autumn winter. It goes so well with so many things. And I feel like you get those real fashionista vibes with these like camel coats. Oh, just for clarity, it is size 8. Moving on to some print. Print is massive this autumn winter, if you didn't already know. Snake skin, leopard print, it's all over the catwalks. So, I picked up a very, very brave and sort of bold snake print co-op. Now, I've been after these trousers for the longest time ever on Pretty Little V. But they've been sold out and I saw that they came back in stock the other day so i grabbed up the chance to get them i got them in a size six and this is what they look like i didn't actually realize they were faux leather I must have missed that detail they're gorgeous they're really good quality they're in sort of like a jean style and do you want to say jean style i just mean they've got the back pockets on um front pockets and then they just got sort of a zip and then like buttons that do up there so they are really really good quality that focuses i'm hoping they fit i got a size six so with that new in online i think it was like this week 
there was this gorgeous faux leather trench coat. Again, didn't realise it was faux leather. Um, so I'm not too sure how this is going to go down. There is a belt for this as well. But this is what it looks like. Just this gorgeous trench coat. I feel like this was styled up so nicely across the website on the banners and things. I'm going to put that on now and show you what it looks like. Definitely feel London Fashion Week ready in this habit, that's for sure. So, I really like it. Fit is perfect on the trench and the trousers. Like, I was so glad I got into them trousers. Honestly, when I was trying them on, I was like, please fit, please fit. And they fit a dream. They fit really nice, plenty of room. So, yeah, if you're looking at the trousers then, I got a size 6 and they fit me beautifully. I got a 6 on the trench. I do feel like I could have got an 8, but I wanted it to be fitted rather than, like, oversized with this. Um, and yeah, this fits again really nicely. I'm really happy about the fact that there is a tie waist belt for the coat because it just cinches it in that much more. The only issue I have to say about this outfit is, I don't know if you can hear this, but because of the fabric, it's like squeaking as I walk. Like I'm literally walking and squeaking. Um, so that is the only thing with this two piece. It's just that fabric that's really squeaky. And annoying if you can get past that i do feel like it is a beautiful outfit very bold very out there and very sort of like on trend but at the same time i do really really like it i feel as well that these would look great as separate i am just going to undo this actually and just show you what it looks like with the um coat undone so yeah this is what the trench coat looks like undone as well just so you can see i feel like you couldn't really see the trousers before like i said these trousers are really lovely i'm so pleased with these trousers i feel like on their own just even with like a plain top like this just gonna look so nice i could even team a different sort of coat jacket with it i'm tangled up <laughs> i'm tangled so yeah, I feel like even with these trousers just like on their own, teamed with a different jacket, they'll work really, really nicely. So yeah, I am really glad I got these. I did have a matching biker jacket, which, you know, if you wasn't like so much into the trench, you could get that. But I believe it was in the sale and out of stock. So yeah, maybe you won't be getting that. Okay, so the next thing I picked up from Pretty Little Thing was another pair of trousers. I feel like I'm always lacking the trouser department and I want to just sort of get out of the wide leg sort of obsession. Um, so I opted for, again, something very different and then these colour block trousers. They're in, again, a faux leather fabric. And yeah, these are definitely, again, something very different for me, but I've seen so many people wear these sort of style trousers and they've just pulled it off massively and look stunning in them, so I thought I'd try it as well. Okay, yeah, so this is how I have styled the trousers. I was struggling a little bit at first. I feel like you do need a sort of cropped or dressier top to go with these trousers because like I said, these are something I would wear for like an evening um, drink to the girls or something. So let me just come in a little bit closer to show you. I got the trousers in a size 6 and they fit perfect. Again, I was a little unsure just because they are in that PU fabric which sometimes doesn't have stretch and sometimes you need to upsize in but I got a 6 and they fit absolutely fine. I really like this outfit. Just a little bit something different to wear on an evening as opposed to like a two piece or a dress. So the last item of clothing I've got to show you in this haul is a cargo sort of shirt top and again I thought this would look really nice with my cargo trousers that I got from Pretty Little Thing last time. Are they cargo trousers? They're sort of like straight leg cargo trousers. I will show you what they look like obviously when I try them on with this. Um, so yeah just thought this was a really nice shirt top. This was in the petite section I believe. It's called the petite black cargo pocket detail tie waist shirt. It's also a tie waist which I love because it makes it more flattering. So I'm going to try this on and now I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the cargo shirt looks like on and styled up. As you can see, and as I said, I styled them up with my Pretty Little Thing cargo trousers as well. These are from, I think, my last Pretty Little Thing haul, and I did get these in a size A, just in case you were wondering. Um, so let me just come in a little bit closer and show you. So this is the sort of shirt on. I haven't actually opted to use a tie waist belt or anything. I do actually need to cross that over a little bit more. Um, and as you can see, it's got these two pocket details here. It's a really nice, sturdy shirt. It's in a really nice fabric and then I have just teamed it with the cargo pants with the drawstring waist and just some really casual trainers this is a little bit more of a dress down outfit I do think this shirt is so versatile though I feel like it would look really nice with like a skinny pair of like denim jeans as well because obviously if you do use the tie waist and you know took it out it will just skim really nicely across like a pair of denim jeans yeah really really comfy shirt and I'm really pleased with this as well Okay, so the last couple of things I've got to show you today from Pretty Little Thing are all shoes. So, first pair is a pair of trainers and oh, 
I have honestly been loving these. I've been wearing these non-stop since I got them. I never thought I'd say that about a pair of trainers. And they are these chunky trainers. Let me hopefully get that focused. Um, so yeah, they're just these all white pair of chunky trainers with a black sole, which I absolutely love. They're honestly the most comfiest pair of shoes that I own. I don't even know what it is about these, but I just love them with any outfit. Like I just feel like a white pair of trainers with even just like a pair of jeans or something, you just can't go wrong. So yeah, obsessed with these. I just really wanted an all white pair of trainers um, just to like differ my styling up a little bit and have a more casual look as well. The next pair of shoes I picked up were a pair of Perspex. You guys know I love the old Perspex shoe. And it is these Perspex mules. So just a simple pair of black mules. So like they've got a black like face suede base here and then just a Perspex detail and then a nice sort of like chunkier perspect heel i just thought these were a really nice heel size not overly big and as i said because there is the chunkiness to the heel makes it a little bit more easier to walk in okay so get ready for the final pair of shoes so the final pair of shoes i have to show you today are these gucci-esque sort of replicas um from pretty little thing and this is what they look like so in case you didn't know gucci did a very similar pair of these and that's what i mean when i say gucci inspired um because they do look so so similar i absolutely love these i wasn't so sure when they first came out because they did come out quite a while ago now might have even been last season so yeah i wasn't so sure when i like first saw people rocking these but do you know what? I fastly have grew to love them. And I saw a girl the other day wearing just like a simple pair of denim jeans and a top. And she had these on. They just looked so nice. They really just finished the outfit off. Um, so yeah, I do really like these. And I think they'll be a nice addition to my flats because I am trying to build my flats at the moment. Which you guys will be glad to know. Because I know there's a lot of you that watch my videos that are massive flat lovers. So yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. I know it's been quite a long one today. But I really do hope you have enjoyed it. Because you guys have been asking for a pretty little thing haul if you have enjoyed it then please do remember to give it a big thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and yeah i shall see you all in my next video Bye bye